okay so now the next section we are going to deploy the edge so we need to jump to the nodes edge transport node we are going with a small since it's a lab environment and ultimately we are going with the zero percent reservation so naming if i recall that the ip is 1194 edge one the name would be the rdx edge one this is going to be the name perfect then next admin the credentials would be the same which we have this one copying it from here allow ssh paste here paste here allow ssh click next compute cluster one management host host one what is store next static ip its ip is this one enter oh sorry Slash twenty four gateway is one select interface. It should be management port group. Save search name lab dot local DNS same NTP. So we can use that NTP here. What we have here. Moving next, NVDS overlay transport zone we are assigning to overlay uplink profile edge IP. We have the IP assigned here. H tab pool. Select interface. It's going to be connect on trunk. Port group. Now, again another port. NVDS VLAN. okay so i believe we are done with the entire configuration so we have to switch under the edge let's click on finish not start deploying on the host 01 and if we are going to refresh it it would show us not status is registration pending is trying to register towards the manager and the status is considered as a pending so let's see what exactly the status of this one we're stuck we need to go to the vc
so we can see here here's a vm and we are exactly the status of it okay okay so here's a one catch that edge vm is not supporting the amd processor so for that we need to execute one command i'll show you what command we need to execute to enable that one here so in that case it's going to be reflect here success and this is the stuck in registration pending Mm -hmm. So you can see here this is a data path failing. So we need to log in into the H1. Okay, H1 here. Yeah. Accept root. Okay, now it will work here. So I need to go under AMD and make this one as comment. Insert comment. Yeah. Okay. No, now the edge is going to reboot itself and again it's come and reinitiate itself. Trying to connect on the data path. Now it's reloading itself. In case of AMD, we need to execute this command. We need to make that comment so it won't be, you know, participate using that one. But in other processes, if you're talking about the Xeon or the Intel processes, right? So in that case, we we do not require anything, any comment or any any modification on the, that file, config file. So this is only applicable for the AMD processors, and specifically for the AMD Ryzen. So if we, you have an Epic Epic would be compatible with the virtualization or the H1. So let me see what is the status. So probably it would take some seconds and then it would be Success. Restart. In the last command, we need to restart the data plane services as well. Stop service data plane then start service data plan perfect okay so let's see okay we can see here as a success so edge is successfully deployed If I'm going to refresh its status once more, so we can see the tap IP as well as current status is down. We need to wait for some time. 
it status would be up. Meanwhile, we are going to ping it from the box. Like initially, I have pinged it from this machine. Let me go to the CMD. Ping it from here. triple one. It's pinging. Perfect. And uh, probably second IP is a one one two. Both the tab type is pinging. Okay, so tabs are fine. Tab IP are pingable. Status is up, so we are in good shape as of now. So let's create a cluster and wrap up this video. So we are going to create a cluster. Ideally, we should have uh, two edges performing the HS stuff, but here either active active or the active strand by we should go with the two edges but here is the thing since we are doing this on the lab so for the learning purpose i think we are going with the minimum configuration so we can achieve max so that is why i'm picking the only one and creating a edge cluster down the line if there would be good response i'll work on the different stuffs as well as like uh, federation and all on the same box cluster so edge cluster adding it and refreshing it once more so i have added that one so i think in good shape so all the underlying stuff we have done with the overlay underlay and all so now only the thing which we need to be conf configured then in the next video we are covering the segments what all segments going to be talked to the internet and then we need to configure the bgb stuff so where we have to configure t0 t1 so we'll cover that in the next video and that would be the last video for the series. Thank you.